And indeed, welcome to Champ Week, presented by Principal. The lights are on nighttime in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's where we are for the championship game in the West Coast Conference. The top two teams in this league, including the number one team in college basketball, it's Gonzaga against those Gales, highest ranked St. Mary's team in years. At point guard, trying to get Drew Timmy a touch, and immediately St. Mary's comes away with a steal. Well, they had some sloppy passes last night, and that was not a good pass right there by Chet Holmgren. Well, that helped San Francisco make a charge, come back in the game. Kuzi somehow avoided the long reach of Holmgren and got the first bucket of the night. Time to recognize that Timmy was being guarded by Logan Johnson, and that's a matchup that is a big-time advantage for Drew Timmy. Up top, Kyle Bowen's going to shoot a three and hit a three. Four. A very similar feel to what we saw in Moraga a week ago Saturday. Nemhard, three. Good! There are the Zags' first points of the night. Nice bounce back here after being hurt so much last year. Julian Strother got a piece of that one. Really good defense that time by Strother. Three on three, Nemhard down the lane. Nemhard scores. Easy. Johnson attacks. Johnson scores. Are extremely crafty at getting in the paint and being able to find a way as they weave through to create an angle. Holmgren catches the lob, goes up through some contact. His first bucket. I mean, it was fantastic. Uh, games come right down to the wire. Logan Johnson into the passing lane. And Johnson throws it down with the ball. Strother got cut off by Dukas. Late shot clock, Nemhard. Andrew Nemhard's having a great start. What that tells you is they're more comfortable allowing Andrew Nemhard to take that shot than they are giving up the one to Drew Timmy. Kuzi finds Dukas for three. Yes. They want to play. Yeah, the funny thing is, too, the Gales are so good at playing the way they want to play. There's a look for Straw. They're good for three. Well, anticipated yesterday him being assertive. He wasn't today a little bit better. Logan Johnson's going to drive all the way. And with Holmgren on the bench for the first time tonight, it changes everything. The ability to alter and block shots. Go to the bench. You feel like you're a little bit more confident. Anton Watson faces. And right with Saxon's hand in his face, scores his first bucket. Did a great job at Arizona. But this coaching staff really does focus on player development. And no bigger example this year than Julian Strother. Totally true. Get out of transition. It's the number one way, obviously, to try to slow down the pace of the game with the defense is not allow the Zags to score in the first five or six seconds of the shot clock. Wow, that is tough to defend. Tommy Cousy with the left hand. Players in the league, Cousy, not this time. Watson high for the defensive rebound. And now maybe the Zags can run a little bit. Salas, the freshman. Extra pass. Strother, three. Yes! I think Julian Strother would like to get another look at the basket. I think Mark Few would like to see Julian Strother get another look at the basket. Watson spinning. Watson didn't travel. Kept that foot down. Taking a lot better quality of shot as of late. Toss has the, the muscle to kind of get into the chest of Chet. That's what he did. And then finished with the left hand. Bolton, quick three. Good! How do you not match up against Gonzaga in transition? One of the things they did so well in Moraga, the, the scouting report defense was outstanding. Watson, nice attack for Anton Watson. Looks like a different guy these last two nights. Well, one for five in this first half. Gonzaga doing a much better job. Uzi hits the three. Uzi over getting a seam and finding it. Look at how far away they're initiating this possession. Duke has got a little opening and knocks down the three. So Holmgren, by the way, starting to get a little agitated that the shots aren't falling. Bolton, good. Lenhard tried to kind of lob it up to Timmy. Strother, quick release, three! Still playing hard on this end. Toss trying to take his time. Fias Toss. 
And that's what LaFonso Ellis was talking about. Again, they lose Bolton. How, how, do you, how do you not match up? I mean, does it? Kuzi wants Toss to come up and set the screen. Kuzi all the way to the bucket. There you go, Sean. Oh, dear. Well, most play by play guys think they can do it with other analysts. Sure. So, he goes both ways. What a screen by Todd. <laughs> Toss gets it back from Dukas, and that's a good start for St. Mary's. Gale's not out of it by any means. Screen for Johnson. Logan Johnson just kind of flipped one up and somehow went in. Yeah. He was a little bit late. Well defended. Very well defended. Nemhard in and out. Holmgren offensive rebound. One dribble. Dukes it home. So they're coming off the bench. Dukas against Strother. Trying to use a shot fake. Holmgren. They're going to count the bucket. Goal 10. Help oh, came against Holmgren. Nemhard behind the back. Timmy up and under. How about that? Get the Park MGM, which is basically Bruno Mars. Anderson back. He's, he's big, isn't he? Bounce pass down low. Futu with the hesitation. St. Mary's gets a layup. Also, vocal cord treatments. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have a video message for us. But he's under strict orders. He can't talk. That's why we got the big grease board to the Vital home. Johnson to Toss. Toss has fumbled the ball a lot here in the second half. Got it and scored over Timmy. Senior from Estonia. He's been around a long time. He's played these acts so many times. Goes down. They didn't call a foul. And no flop warning. And they didn't give a flop warning either. So Spoken language of college basketball now. Drop those two arms down. There's your flop warning. We did that the other night when we went to dinner. When I, when we reached, <laughs> I told you I was going to be Spokane. Heck of a player. Johnson. Oh, nice move, Logan Johnson. The lead is down to three. Out of the timeout. 11 minutes to go. Championship night in the West Coast Conference in Las Vegas. Gonzaga being challenged again by St. Mary Strother, who's been more quiet here in the second half. On some pick and roll defense, banged into the Zags player and picked up his fourth foul. 30 feet away from the hoop. Not good for St. Mary's. Nemhard got rid of Fotu. <laughs> it went down off the front iron. Hung there for a while. Johnson with a foul. Logan Johnson's going to have a chance for a three point play. Watson. Watson, what a move. Holmgren has to go to the bench with his fourth foul. Dukas, tough shot. Tipped in, though, by Toss. Said Holmgren's in the game. That doesn't happen. Nope. He gets a touchdown ball. Going to work through Timmy. Simplified the offense. Fouls. Nemhard down the lane. Nemhard scores. For so strong. Back from Strother. Bolton tough. Step back three. What a shot. Bolton pull up. Foul. And the basket. down the lane. Logan Johnson, tough shot. There's contact there as well. I think when Randy Bennett was saying in the air, the official going down is, hey, I get it, we're fouling down there, but I'd like to see that same call down here. Nemar three. 20. And St. Mary's is in the top 20. And come up with three, four, five teams who want to play the Zags. Maybe everybody wants to imitate this. Nemar a long three. <laughs> Our tape guys got to get busy. Kyle Bowen for three. That's a big answer for us. They say two. His foot was on the line. Nemhard used the screen. Nemhard all the way. Another one for Andrew Nemhard. Under 
with two and a half to go. Logan Johnson. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Logan Johnson's got to force the issue here. Johnson is left-handed. Scored that one with his right hand. Timeout, Gales. So Mary's not fouling, just trying to swarm. Demhard up top to Holmgren. I think we're going to be seeing a little more of that as March goes on. Demhard. Watson. Full throttle all the way through for the Gonzaga Bulldogs and Andrew Nemhart. After what happened 10 days ago, they are going to savor this win against St. Mary's. Final seconds tick off another West Coast Conference Championship for the Gonzaga Bulldogs.